What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Show back another video. And today, man, I ain't gonna lie. Uh, I didn't. I wasn't gonna make a video on this topic simply because I just honestly couldn't care less. But um, it's one of the things where obviously you may look at this video, you may say, if you don't want it, just don't buy it. It's just as simple as that. And it is honestly as simple as that. But it's a little bit more deeper than that. Honestly, it it, it goes to like the whole economics of games right now. Like, okay, basically. I'm talking about Last of Us, the uh, Last of Us Part 1. I kind of saw this in the passing, so I don't know too much information about it, but I know a, a little bit enough about it, and I'm going to talk about it for here. Uh, so apparently, they are like full, full on remaking Last of Us 1. I played Last of Us 1. I thought it was a great game. I believe it was on the uh, PS Plus collection. I think they actually came out with a uh, like an upgraded version, or at least they got a PS4 version, because it was originally a PS3 game, for sure. <laughs> All right, so here's some some stats on uh, Last of Us, just in case you guys don't know. You know how long this game's been out. It's been out since 2013. It was developed by Naughty Dog. Of course, I know pretty much the story, but it's based around Joel and, and Ellie. And the world's ended. You have zombies. You have very, very creepy, strong, very, very strong zombies. And, you know, things of that nature. But look, to be honest, it's a little bit of a controversy going around. A lot of people in the comments of these videos talking about the remake. And like I said in the earlier part of the video, it always goes down to if honestly, if you don't want it, you don't have to get it. It's really, it's up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a consumer market type thing. But me, I look at this as a bigger thing because we, we've had a problem with like constant remakes and remasters. And it, it's sort of like a little bit biased because some of the games I love haven't been technically remastered. Like, I would love a lot of, like, remaster, and I would love a remastered version of the Tekaichi that you can play on newer consoles and stuff. Like, a Tekaichi collection. Sort of how they did the HD collection with Budokai. I would love that, but we won't really get to get things like that. Not really. It's just how it is. You know, we'll end up getting games like The Last of Us. And the thing about The Last of Us, I'm pretty sure everybody has played the game at this point. I mean, if you have a PlayStation, I'm pretty sure everybody's played this game. Now, of course, they obviously have a Last of Us 2, which came out, and it was kind of like mixed reviews or whatever. I think it won Game of the Year, and it was very, very controversial. Not, not controversial, but it, was, it had a lot of controversy around it. Now, obviously, if you go back and play the original Last of Us, it does have things that age kind of poorly, and I can understand why there would be a need for an upgraded version, but there technically is. There is you can actually play it on PS4 and stuff, so there's an upgraded version from the original PS3. The thing is, it's more of... Do we want to see something new from Naughty Dog, or do we really want to spend time and resources remaking uh, Part 1? Even though it's totally up to your choice, it's more like we don't want to see this get major traction because what happens if every game decides to do this? Now, I'm a little bit of a hypocrite on the subject because while I don't think it's necessary, it's, it's not really for me and I probably won't get it, there's two things that I feel like makes me a hypocrite in this situation. Seriously. And one is the basic fact that I actually did like the first game, but I didn't finish it all the way through. But the thing that makes me a hypocrite is that I played Final Fantasy VII, the original title, and I would definitely go and buy a set Final Fantasy VII remake. And in fact, I did. I played it. I played it all the way through. I loved it. I felt like it was a great idea to remake that game. For two, it, uh, for the second reason that makes me a hypocrite is that I can't really say nothing bad about this if there's other games I want to be remade. There's some other games I feel like just weren't up to par. Even though Last of Us is probably one of the games that hold up the greatest, there's a lot of games I feel like just weren't up to par and I would like for them to be remade. So I can't really sit here and say, hey, I'm really against games getting remade and sold. Now, the two things that are kind of like my saving grace in terms of these two arguments is what mainly people are arguing about. For one, well, Sonic of 7, even though it was did get a remake and it did really, really well, Final Fantasy VII is ridiculously old. It's like a very, very old game. Like a very, very old game. I mean, it came out in 1997, and it has decent graphics for that time. You know, it has good graphics for that time. But for us now, a lot of people who are very into, like, nice-looking JRPGs would definitely not even touch this game. Not even a little bit, to be honest. I can see a lot of people passing this game up if you want to play, like, the original PlayStation version. But the remake made the game funner. It made it more interesting. It made the graphics really amazing. And in turn, it made a lot more people love the game. Now, on the side note to this, I do I do kind of understand why they would um, choose to go this route, honestly. Because if you think about it, right? If you haven't played any of the Last of Us series, and you know you tried to play Last of Us 1, but you couldn't get into it, you don't want to jump into Last of Us 2, you know, considering that you really haven't played through 1, so you don't really know much of the story. 
So at this point, you're just kind of playing catch up. You kind of have to guess what happened in one or have to see flashbacks of what happened in one. And, you know, maybe their thought is maybe if we upgraded one, it'll actually help increase the sales for both games. Because so imagine that we, we drop a remade version of one. And then the person who couldn't really get into it or couldn't finish it could actually play this newer version with better, you know, controls and things of that nature and really get more into the series. And then from there, they'll lead them to getting two which is out, which is on, you know, which is still newer, still freshly out. So I can definitely see where that, that comes from. And the second thing like that I feel like is a good argument about uh, against this game is probably the fact that this game is $70. $70 to me is wild. Yeah, $70 is, is absolutely crazy to me because considering that we have this game, we have a version of this game, a playable, really, really decent version of this game on already on the system. You're gonna charge me seven, and I get it. I honestly do get it. It's a newer game. It's PS5. You know, it's like it's it's upgraded. It's like it's newer. So it's like I get where they're going with that. But you're telling me you're gonna take the same story that many people have played over and over again, and basically redo the story with better visuals and charge me seventy dollars for the upgrade. I'm not saying that it's terrible. I'm not saying that it, that if somebody bought it and you know I borrowed it or something, I wouldn't play it. I would love to play it. But $70 price tag is actually kind of crazy to me. I get that you have to make your money back, and I get that, you know, at the end of the day, you have to decide if that's right for you. I can definitely see where all the points are coming at, but this is a bad price to me, man. $70 obviously is the new price for these types of games. This is, like, this is what games are priced now. And I get that, but for a remake, I feel like a remake should be, no be nothing over maybe, maybe like 50, 60. I'd probably go with 50. I mean, it's sort of similar to the Disguise situation. Disguise 6 Complete uh, basically came out not too long ago. Honestly, not too long ago. Like last month, came out last month, and they're selling it for 70. Now, it's technically not a remake or what, or nothing, and it's more of like they finally released it to other systems over $70. That's absolutely crazy, man. Like, I get it. You want to make your money back, but, and I'm pretty sure they had to pay a lot for, for them to like re-update the visuals, but to be honest, I would rather them working on Last of Us 3 or something like that. I would rather go with the, go ahead and with the 3. The, the actual version that came out in 2013 has already been upgraded, so we should just use that upgraded version, just start working on the third game. But to me, that's just my, that's just me specifically. To me, I just don't think it's worth it. I don't. And maybe you die hard, like last of us fans will really be into something like that you'll really be excited to kind of kind of play that and i can understand why you know as being a fan of other mini series but seven dollars i just can't do it with that being said guys let me know how you feel about this do you think this is is any type of good do you think it should be seventy dollars to me personally i do not think it should be seventy dollars i think that's a little too high in my opinion like a little too high i think it should be centered around something like 50 60. even if we get 60 and it's only ten dollars less give us that ten dollars less man this is a remade game, but it still has a pretty decent version out there. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.